Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of my declutter series and today we're tackling the living room which might not seem like a big task, however I think it's the task of hidden tasks. So all of these units here need clearing out, I've got hidden storage in my sofa that needs clearing out, my bookshelves, I'm going to try and clean the windows on the inside, I'm going to get down and clean the windows behind the sofas, it's going to be a big task but one that really needs doing because I feel like the living room is where we spend the most time and my living room kitchen is joined because I live in a flat so it just it's the space that we spend the most time in and I want it to feel the most empty and clear which it hasn't for a really long time so I'm gonna try and tackle it all as quickly as possible hopefully this goes well hopefully it's stress-free and we can end the video feeling very much like decluttered and stressless basically. But if you want to check out the rest of the series that I've done so far, make sure you head back to the other videos, which is my wardrobes, my like bags and accessories and stuff, my bathrooms and my bedroom. So all of the other rooms in the house have basically been tackled apart from like storage cupboards in the kitchen. So I thought I'd do living room next and start the new year fresh with a living room declutter to just make the living room feel livable and cozy and comfortable and great. So let's get into the video, shall we? Okay, I'm thinking the best place to start is going to be these drawers. And yes, I'm doing this in my pyjamas. It's January. I don't want to be getting dressed if I can help it. So we're going to stay in comfy pyjamas. But I'm thinking this is the best place to start. So these six drawers are all living room. And then the other three are kind of more kitchen based because we needed extra storage for our kitchen. So it's all of our like jars of stuff. So I think I'm going to start here. And we'll work our way through this. And then we'll go to like the sofas and the bookcases. Up. I can already see the bookcase and I know it's a pain in the bum because the very bottom shelf you can't really get to and I broke the like shelf up and the little hook thing fell out it's I need to fix it it looks wonky it's really annoying <laughs> I just need to get to that that's a task for in a minute so let's start here obviously leaving the switch and stuff I live with a boy boys are allowed to have their toys in somewhat orderly fashion he has three games consoles wow this is the tech drawer the tech drawer is an experience I don't even know if you can see me, but this is my old vlogging camera and I never use it. So I think I'm just going to sell it because it's just sat in this drawer and I could probably make some money from it. definitely become my like stuff everything in and just hope for the best drawers which is making it really difficult to organize but I'm trying to put it back to how it was so I've got the Ikea organizer things in here and I tried to make it so it was like camera stuff in one so like tripods that kind of neck of the woods like tripods memory cards batteries etc then the next one was like my disposable cameras my little photo printer and that kind of thing so all of the actual tech so like my gopro and whatever i'm going to try and put loose cables into here and i'm going to try and minimize them down because i don't think i need as many cables as i've got like a lot of these cables are the same thing they're all either like the universal this one not so much but a lot of them are like the universal cable or an iphone cable and i don't need that many so i'm going to try and minimize them down and not have too many of like the same thing because then it just makes it way easier for me when I'm going through and trying to find stuff to know that I don't just have like 7,000 cables because currently I do. I need to go through them because I don't even know if anything's on them but this is all memory cards. So I've got four in the slot and then I've got four just hanging around but I keep them in this and this is what I used to travel with when I used to take all of my memory cards everywhere. Ooh, I've got a gift card here. Handy. I swear there is pens everywhere. I'm finding so many pens. But I'm trying to categorise things to make this easier for myself in a minute and just work out what's where. Oh my God. This is like a... For when you go swimming underwater with a GoPro, you put the GoPro in it and then it does the like half underwater photos. So I've got that still in here. <laughs> it's kept at the back because I don't ever really use it. But when I do come to a trip where I can do stuff like that and it looks cool, it's really handy to have. I just haven't obviously needed it in quite a while because I haven't really been anywhere. I did use it in Croatia recently though. An essential in summer. It's a little fan. Draw number one is organised. This drawer is full of like so much stuff that's just so random. Game things, like my brother got us this. 
have all of our board games. So I've got like Mean Girls board game. We've got like Color Brain, which I actually think I might sell because we never use this. And we never use this one either. It's called Telestrations, where you like write things down. So I think we might get rid of some of these because we just don't use a lot of them. So I need to keep some to one side and ask James his thoughts, but we'll have a little look. This is my life admin folder with all my random car things in and like life things. So they need to stay, obviously. Got a ball of wool because I was trying to learn how to knit. Maybe I'll pick that up again. I do want to learn how to knit. I just never have the time to do it. More pens. I'm assuming this is another time that I decided I wanted to start knitting. Okay, I know the bottom drawer also has games. So I'm thinking maybe I try and do both at once. <laughs> point where I know for a fact these are bad so I can't even open it we're just gonna have to take things out and just go through it all gonna have to call it a day on sorting the living room for now because I've got quite a bit of work that I need to get done but I thought at least the chest of drawers are tackled I haven't done the kitchen ones because we're gonna do that as part of the kitchen video because that technically is kitchen stuff um, same with the bottom drawer that was like random it's my boyfriend's drawer so it's like random kitchen things of his and his switch and stuff but I'm impressed and I'm glad that I did it because those drawers now feel a lot more organized and looking at them I don't feel like that sense of dread if I open them like it's I know if I open them it'll be tidy and organized and fine so impressed with those and then I just need to tackle this which to be honest doesn't need much doing to it it's just the bottom shelf needs sorting I need to fix a shelf and then I need to sort under the sofa and clean the windows and stuff but that is all something I can definitely do over this weekend so I will be back in a couple of days hello gang it's a little while later I think it's been maybe two weeks but it's been a little while because life just got so busy for a little period of time but Today we're back and we're gonna be doing some bits and I cannot wait because the drawers have stayed really tidy and seeing those as perfect and beautiful and clean and tidy and organized as they are has really made me want to tackle this side of the room, specifically under the sofas and the bookshelf. The bookshelf doesn't need that much doing to it, I'll be honest, it's kind of done. I just need to kind of, I just need to zhuzh and organize and I do need to pull it out because I lost, you know like on bookshelves, they've got the little metal things that hold the shelves up. One of the shelves has fallen down I lost the little thing and I need to pull it out to be able to find it, to put it all together. We also have some alcohol that's kind of going rogue down there, like random bottles from Christmas. So I just want to sort it out, sort out under the sofas with the random home decor and things, put some bits on Facebook Marketplace and just really clear out, get it sorted. I'm loving doing this series. This series is motivating me more than anything you could imagine. I do kind of want to, when I've hit the end point of the rooms, revisit because I think it'd be really interesting to like revisit and just see if there's anything else I can declutter, how tidy I've kept it, all that kind of stuff. Specifically like the wardrobes, there's gonna be a lot of content coming around those. And I have actually, since doing the video, changed a few little bits in there, namely the wardrobes. So I would definitely recommend having a little look at that video. Also my last weekly vlog. Any recommendations as you see me doing these, please leave a comment. I would love ideas because I think sometimes when you watch these, I do this too, but you can see someone do things a certain way and be like, oh my God, that would be so much better for that space. So let me know because I love ideas and I love inspiration from other people, but let's get tackling. We've got a lot to do. Okay, we're gonna start at the top. And to be honest, I'm just gonna give them a bit of a wipe down as well because I think it'd be nice to make them just look all clean and fresh while we're doing this. But these bookshelves are kind of in some particular order. 
So top shelf is all of the like self-development kind of books that we have. So we've got things like the magic, we've got things like a monk, manifest, that kind of thing is up the top. This second shelf used to have, I'm not entirely sure what, but some kind of decor on it. I need to find some decor that can go back onto it because at the moment it's just got James's vintage basketball, which is great, but I feel like we can do better than just having that on here. So I'm gonna try and style some other bits alongside that. Boys live in our houses and we need to make sure that they have their things sometimes. I'm a firm believer in like collaborating on a space, obviously keeping it nice and keeping it like beautiful, but there's certain things that I think he really wants around. So I wanna make sure that we keep them in flat. But yeah, that shelf needs some kind of decor on it. Then this shelf down below it. I apologize in advance if you can hear that banging. My downstairs neighbor is doing something. I don't entirely know what, but he's doing some kind of building. He does it all the time, it's really annoying. But this next shelf here is our novels. So this is all just like random books, mainly mine to be honest, that just live on this shelf. Obviously all color coded, which is why there isn't really any black spined books, which I will explain in a minute. Then when you get down another shelf, you've got a few little books here with two bookends that I absolutely adore from Maison de Monde. Maison de Monde don't have a UK shop anymore, which is really sad because I absolutely love what they sell. And I did used to buy quite a few home bits from there, but you can find beautiful bookends everywhere now, to be honest, there's so many gorgeous ones, but I just love these because it's a little moon and a sun. And then the bottom two, we've got James's Game of Thrones and Harry Potter. And the very bottom one has like random other bits. So we're gonna pull the bookshelf out so I can get to the bottom and try and sort down there. Tell me your Harry Potter fans without telling me. I've got my Ravenclaw edition. James has got his original edition up there. And we also have like rogue other books that are just lying around. We have so many copies of Harry Potter, it's ridiculous. Okay, next part we're gonna tackle is under this part of the sofa. Now I've got the snug cloud Sunday sofa and you can get optional storage underneath, which I just thought was essential, especially living in a flat, having minimal storage. It just, it makes sense. And for us, the extra storage is definitely an essential. We don't have an attic or anything like that. We have one cupboard that things can go in. So this is typically where we used to keep the books and stuff before we had a bookshelf, spare blankets, all that kind of stuff. But as you could see, there is a whole blanket basket and we have extras there. There's just, there's so many. So I decided we're gonna give them a bit of a clear out and we're just gonna, we're gonna get rid of things. So under here is apparently even more books, which I didn't realize we had. I feel like I don't really want this book anymore. However, my dad got me this and this is actually a signed copy from Stacey Solomon. Um, so he met her and she signed it for me and I think that's quite a cute thing to have. So I think I'm gonna keep it for that reason. I have to say, I've never really gone through it or looked at it, so I might have a little flick through. I have two spare copies of The Secret because apparently one copy's not enough, so I've got three. So those I think I'm gonna be selling or you know putting on Marketplace or something. A one line a day. This is from 2020. So started on 2021, the 1st of January, and then it obviously just goes down through different things. Highlight of today, Nando's. I don't know if I'll keep this. However, I do know that in this, this is so sad of me to admit, in this one line a day book, which I kind of want to do it again, but I know there's some really bad memories in here and some really good ones. And I think where I didn't really use it properly, some of it's got like onto the second bit, some of it's not, I, don't, I just, I don't really know. Maybe I do just restart it from today and then we can just go through. Maybe I'm going to do that. We're going to keep it going that. But I know for a fact this date, this little book definitely for sure has the date that I realized that I loved James. <laughs> Because I remember writing in here and being like, I know I love him and I haven't told him yet. And then it's got the date that we said I love you and stuff for the first time. So that is kind of a special one for that reason. This needs to go back in the Harry Potter Ravenclaw bit. And then we have a cocktail book. So we have many, many, many things that need to be taken out of here. This had these in, but we did plan to vacuum pack, but it didn't really fit. 
But if I'm honest, I'm gonna go through because I don't think a lot of these we actually need to keep. The black and white one I think we'll keep because that sometimes goes on the bed. But I've got like big fleecy throws that I know that we don't need anymore. So I might just give them a wash and sell them on. We've got cushion covers in here that have been on the sofa in times past. These, to be fair, I am gonna keep because I do switch out the cushion covers every now and then, especially as we get into summer. I take off the big fluffy ones. They're from the white company, by the way. So just to give a lowdown on the cushions, because I know I'll be asked. The back ones are from H&M. I'll leave those links. These are the white company. Again, Amazon. These ones are from Home Bargains. No, Home Sense. And this one is actually a Christmas pillow that we put the other way around at this time of year. But I actually might put one of these pillowcases on it because... <laughs> sometimes it gets flipped around and I just don't really like it so we're gonna put a different pillowcase on but yeah these are just old pillowcases that we switch out when it's more summery this one I think definitely keep again same reason that goes in the bedroom sometimes got a table runner which is from home sense I've got a couple of pink throws that I do really like but this is more for when I had the guest bedroom like I had like a sofa bed that I had in my office, which is also the guest bedroom. And I do love them. And I do think when we move into a new property and we have that as more of a bedroom again, as well as just being an office, then I'll use them. But I don't know whether to keep them for that reason because by that time I might decide I don't want them anymore. And I think at the moment I'd rather have the space than have all the extra throws. So I think they're gonna go. And then we've got a white cable knit throw, which I actually have like three that look very similar. So I think we'll get rid of those and then these can go back under. Although I'm going to get rid of this from under here because I just don't need it. So I'm going to pop these all back under and then I'm going to have a little look through my blanket basket and see if any of those can go under here too because I just, I don't really want the blanket basket as a like full overflowing feature in the room. I'd rather have it with like one or two throws and then have anything else under here. But it is handy to have this little storage thing because I don't, I don't love changing out the decor per se but I definitely think when it comes to like seasonal changes, like having big chunky throws and stuff, it's good to be able to switch them out. Black throws also do come in handy because sometimes we mix and match the sofa a little bit and we put black throws on the sofa and black cushions, which I do have, but they're just, the covers are, I don't actually know where the covers are. They're somewhere else. This blanket basket before I'm asked as well is from Ikea. So we've got the heated blanket in here, a black throw, which I, that can definitely go because it just, I don't really like the texture of it very much. We've got a fluffy cushion. Could that live on the sofa? Or is that gonna be too many things on the sofa? And then I've got this one, which is actually a Mickey Mouse, like boho-y vibe. So I'm gonna keep in this basket just two throws. So we're gonna have this brown one, which is nice and aesthetic. It matches the room, so I think we'll leave that in here. And then we're gonna have the heated one because that get you, gets used all the time. This is like my favorite thing ever, especially in the current climate. It's so handy to have a heated blanket because it uses way less electricity than obviously turning the heating on. And I just love snuggling up under it to read a book. So this one is a minky one. I believe it's a single size. I can't remember. I'll leave it linked down below, but it's really handy. I do think that I would rather have had a larger one. So I just went for a small one, but now in hindsight, I wish I'd got a bigger one because it's really nice, but sometimes we like to cuddle up under it together and it's just not big enough for two. So I definitely think a larger one would be better, but I'll leave a link to this one and the one that I was gonna get, if not this one. But yeah, those are in there. And then I might actually just pop my slippers into there for now too, just to get them out of the way. And then I've got this throw, which is from Amazon. This one's a lot more spring summer, but it's just like a waffle texture, which goes on the arm of the sofa um, for when it's closed again. But this is honestly the most handy thing ever and I love it. Okay, last but not least, we have this section. So I'm just gonna pull these cushions up again because it's just so much easier to open. Otherwise it rebounds back and it's hit me on the head before. So this section is a bit larger and it's similar vibes. So this one's just got loads again of really random stuff under it, but more so like home decor pieces. So I'm hoping that under here I can find some bits that maybe we can style up there. Um, I also wanna see if there's anything we can get rid of, anything we can keep, where it can go somewhere else. I got this from Costco ages ago and I think I might just give it a little scrub and just donate it to a charity shop or something because I just don't, I don't like it anymore. Tell me why my brownie sash and a book called Jessica, which by the way is hilarious. Um, this is about, about a little girl who has an imaginary friend called Jessica who's really naughty. And my mum thought it was hilarious at a school fair when I was younger, so she bought it for me. Um, <laughs> 
But yeah, these are things that need to go in a memory box, so we need to pop those elsewhere. For now, actually, I might keep them under here because there's a few bits, and I know I can't get into the cupboard where they need to go. That could be quite cute. This is a little cast that we made of um, James and I's hands, which is quite sweet, so maybe that could go up there. It needs a repaint, but it's a bit cute. Or maybe we do a collection of candles, actually, because there's three really cute candles in here. I'm going to do that. This can stay in here until we've got a better home for it. Well, we've successfully cleared that out, and I think this is gonna be what goes on the shelf. I got this from, I think it was Olivia's a couple of years ago, but it's just like a nice little ornament that's gonna go up there. I don't really know what to do with the rest of this space. So for now, I'm just gonna close it. And then if we discover things that can go under here over time, then I'll pop them in. But for now, I just don't really know what else can go under here. James might think of something that he thinks would be ideal. Um, I did think maybe our board games, but they're all in the cupboards over there. So I think we're gonna to have to re, Reassess. Have we got too much storage? Is that a thing? To be fair, I could put the photo on, but I, no, right, we're not rearranging. We don't need to. Things have got homes. We can find something else to go under there in time. today's video guys i really hope you enjoyed seeing a little living room declutter obviously we're keeping it realistic over here these things aren't always done in a day it took me a little while but i'm really happy with how our living room looks i think everything is put away where it needs to be and i'm really happy that i've managed to free up the storage space under the sofa to try and find something else that can go there or you know when we rejig other parts of the house maybe that space could be utilized better but i'm just i love the way it looks at the moment and i love that we have free drawer space we can get rid of some bits and donate and you know all those other good things so i think i'm going to do a quick little charity shop run this afternoon with some of the throws um, and some of the books and stuff and then I'm gonna try and tackle Facebook marketplace for some of the other little bits and pieces but I'm really glad that I've managed to clear out a little bit it honestly feels it feels so much fresher and nicer and more relaxing in this half of the room I do have a, a, a flat so I have an open plan living room and kitchen the kitchen still needs a lot of work doing we're just I'm, I'm kind of like this as I'm recording this end bit because this half of the room feels really nice and lovely the other half is still a little bit chaotic so we're getting there we're definitely getting there but it's just taking a little while it's one of those things it's a process definitely feeling a little bit more minimal which I'm absolutely loving and hopefully you guys like this video if you want to see the next ones obviously stay tuned but if you want to head back and watch the other ones I've already done my bathrooms my bedroom my wardrobe slash spare room and like beauty bits and I think that's everything so I think all I've got left is my kitchen and my storage cupboards, which is going to be a task in itself. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.